At last, jump scare made me pee my pants, but I've cleaned myself off, and we're back for part two of the speed run. Now you don't smell any more like urine than you normally do, which is an absolute slay. I thought I looked stylish because people said I had that drip, but it turns out I was just dripping with urine. Hey, it happens to everyone, Joe. I'm not sure if that's true. Shh, Barack, I'm trying to make him feel better. Oh, uh, yeah, I was on TikTok earlier and saw the new trend is being so old you can't control your bladder. Hey, what's that new hand that you picked up, though? It looks like some kind of gun. Excuse me, Barack, I believe the technical term is the strap. It's a little late, but I'm making my New Year's resolution to be snatching wigs and then splitting them. Wow, what happened to your goal of cutting back on where there's original butterscotch candy. Man, you know, sometimes when I get faded, I just talk crazy. Bro, I feel that. Last bingo night, I think we went too hard. It'll be a cold day in hell when I don't get so turnt on bingo night that I end up in a fist fight with a bouncer. Joe, that wasn't a bouncer. You were punching someone's 10-year-old grandson? Okay, but who won? The grandson. Yeah, but he was definitely on like angel dust or something. That's what I mean, though. Bingo night goes crazy and I live for it. I honestly had a better time than I expected. You know, like, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, man. And I'm about that life too. No offense, but you guys are both so mind-bendingly old that if you acted your age, you'd probably just enter a coma. Barack, could someone who's old have abs like this? I'll say the abs are pretty impressive and confusing, both in terms of how it's possible and some feelings it's creating. Maybe we should just move on then. Guys, the whole point of this conversation was that I'm not giving up my butterscotch candies. Joe, I gotta take a second and give you credit. You're going absolute beast mode on these puzzles. Who knows, I might be trading out my butterscotch candies candies for something you could get at Petco because I've straight got that dog in me when it comes to this speed run. Speak your truth, King. Woof, woof. That's the dog in me, by the way. Go ahead and get it, Goral. Oh, man, across this bridge is the part with the smiling critters. Oh, yeah, that part had me tight AF on my first playthrough. Let me just scan my hand here like I'm a secret agent. Don't you mean agent? No, no, I mean like working for the FBI or something. So those people are called agents. Oh, like that movie from 2018, Crazy Rich Agents? You know what? Never mind. We're still making great time on the playthrough, which is perfect because I really want to beat that world record. Oh, my God, here come the critters. There's about to be a lot of candlelight vigils and people singing Amazing Grace because I'm about to be murking these critters. This part of the game always reminds me of those McDonald's play area things. Oh yeah, where they have those tubes that you can crawl through. Hell yeah, I love those things. Not me. I remember getting lost in there and thinking I was never going to see the light of day again. Yeah, that stuff is scary when you're a little kid. Oh no, this was last Tuesday. What were you doing in there? I promised Joe if he behaved at the dentist, I'd take him to McDonald's. Even though I did bite the dentist's hand. But in my defense, he was wearing orange gloves, and I thought it was a piece of butterscotch candy. Joe, how on earth could you confuse someone's hand with butterscotch candy? Well, first of all, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Are those Hannah Montana lyrics? Plus, it was the morning after bingo, so I was still knee-deep in a K-hole and rocking a concussion from that juiced-up 10-year-old. I also still can't believe they hired a 10-year-old to be a bouncer. Joe, he wasn't a bouncer. He was wearing a red cocoa melon backpack, for God's sake. Are you sure the red backpack wasn't there to show his affiliation with the Bloods gang? Joe, I'm confident he wasn't a Blood. So he was a Crip? Joe, why don't you tell us what's going on in game? Well, right now, I'm popping caps in these smiling critters so fast I wouldn't be surprised if this year's number one cause of gun violence was effing around with Joey Biden. But also, this part of the game is another variation on the power puzzles. So there are two thick well-endowed buttons on each side. Gross. And we have to pull down these boxes on each side to activate them so we can send power to this bridge thing. All right, I'm just going to ignore you calling one of the buttons well-endowed. Joe, you said you're trying to beat the world record for this speed run. I also said I'd unleash the nuclear arsenal if I don't break the world record. Yeah, so that has me wondering, what is the world record? Right now, I think the record is 72 hot dogs in 10 minutes. No, I meant for poppy playtime, not for eating hot dogs. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Uh, Remember he has the nuclear codes, Barack. You know, I guess there's no way you could have known that. That's totally my bad. That's what I thought. Ooh, ooh. You can see that this swimming pool is empty because they ran out of money to go through with their plan of filling it with gamer girl bathwater. Oh, God, we're in prison. 
Yeah, and I swore I'd never go back. Hey, look, it's dog day. By Florence and the Machine? No, those are over. Isn't this the dog that died for our sins? Oh, God, they're not about to pass around the donation hat, are they? Dude, it feels like you're supposed to tip for everything these days. I'm fine with tipping an Uber driver or a barista, but I'm not even kidding. There was an option to tip when I got my prescription strength hemorrhoid cream. Yeah, that's just out of control. Like, I'm not tipping you. I just need you to help me put it on. Wait, what? So now Dog Day is saying that the smiling critters want to eat us bit by bit, but not in a weird way, just a scary way. I know it's just supposed to be scary, but you know that someone out there sees a dog tied up like this and is like, hmm, where's my lotion? Barack is awfully quiet right now. Because I was listening, not because I have some kind of hmm response to these images. I guarantee if we didn't say anything, Barack would be like, hey, can I use your bathroom? Also, where is your lotion? I've been trying to improve my skincare routine. Why did Barack say that like he was doing an impression of someone from another country? Was that just me? Barack was absolutely trying to distract us from his kinky response to seeing this dog tied up by doing a stereotypical accent. That's right, which by the way is reductive and insensitive. And I'm sure Barack has some argument along the lines of can't people make jokes anymore? What happened to free speech? But really it isn't about free speech. It's about taking lazy comedy and trying to sell it as edgy comedy. But quite frankly, the audience knows better. Shame on you, Barack. Shame on you. Barack's comedy is so lazy, you'd think it was written by a Mexican. Ha 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 ha. Oh man, I got you good. Barack, we're friends and everything, but you just got wrecked. You guys are going to give me a literal heart attack. Sometimes I got to learn you something, Barry. I died on this part so much, honestly. I really hope I don't mess up the speed run. Guys, I'm sorry. Can we go back to how hard I just bodied Barack? The setup, perfect. The moral high ground, acquired. And then right when he least expected it, wham! I'm seriously wiping tears out of my eyes. And I don't know if it's from laughter or because it was just so beautiful. I'm sorry I talked over this whole part of the game, but man. That's okay, Donald. To catch everyone up, I just escaped dog day. Now all I have to worry about are the smiling critters. But if I were you guys, I'd buy stock in funeral homes for smiling critters because I'm gonna be waxing these fools. Like I'm preparing them for a bikini photo shoot. You hear? Why yes, Joe, I do in fact. Her now I do wanna give you guys a bit of a trigger warning. That's valid. There's going to be some annoying brat calling us on the phone. Oh my God, I should have taken the warning. Did he just say ouchies? Be strong, Donald. He'll stop talking soon. Go on without me, you two. We don't abandon our own. No, Donald, we won't leave you behind. There's no hope for me, Barack. Tell my wife I loved the way she looked when she was younger. Bro, that's ice cold. Then how am I completely on fire today? Oh my God, guys, I just got the keys for the building with catnap in it. Ha ha! Didn't it sound like Joe was doing an impression of a British guy who just got the keys? Because I sit in it. Tally ho, this opens the building with catnap in it. So I might put on me jumper and ride the tube down to the building so I can tell that bloke hello. Then I might go to Hogwarts and do something else related to British people. I don't know, maybe colonize something and have a cup of Earl Grey tea. So where are we now, Joey? Barack, we're in my bedroom, recording the rest of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 for the YouTube channel. Are you feeling okay? Oh my God, I know that. I mean in the game. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Good Lord. Okay, so right now we're in their town's version of City Hall. It looks pretty messy. Do you think the City Hall's parents just got divorced? It's possible, Barack. Maybe someone got a call from that kid and his voice sent them into a blind rage. And all the blood is from their eardrums being shattered by his shrill voice. Now I'll just reach on up here and shimmy through these air vents like I'm a jewel thief about to steal the most valuable butterscotch candy on this side of the Mississippi. How much is the most valuable butterscotch candy even worth? To me, it's priceless. But I think you can get it in stores for like six bucks. Barack, have you noticed that when Joe does these puzzles, his eyes roll back in his head and he starts to shake? I'm communing with the ancient spirits that grant me the unholy power to pop off on these puzzles. I can feel my bones tingle like there are spiders underneath my skin. That's how good I am at this game. Also, unrelated question. Have you guys heard of bath salts? Like Epsom salt? Exactly. Go down to the smoke shop and tell Dennis who works on Fridays that you want to buy some Epsom salts. Then slide $20 across the counter and say, 
hey, I think you dropped this, Dennis, and give a knowing wink. If he says, my name isn't Dennis, and we don't sell Epsom salts, grab something sharp and point it at him. Jesus, Joe. And tell him you weren't asking a question, you were giving an order. This is why I don't go shopping with Joe anymore. Before you know it, he'll give you a little baggie. And you'll have everything you need to absolutely crush Poppy Playtime. By the way, Dennis, if you're watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and most importantly, leave my name out of the police report because it really helps the channel out a lot and i already have enough legal problems couldn't have said it better myself donald all right now i'll just hot box this tunnel like it's saturday at barack's house oh my god and just pizza rolls for days and this was before you had any medication for your irritable bowel syndrome oh man are we really talking about this again i'm not talking about anything i'm just remembering but you're remembering out loud on camera. Well, I think the viewers want to know what it's like behind the scenes. To our amazing viewers at home, let me paint you a picture. Your phone goes off and it's a text message from Barack. So you pick up your phone and the text says, come over, Joe's on the way and I got pizza rolls. Sounds like this Barack guy is pretty nice. You're right, it does sound like that. Unfortunately, he was leading us to untold anguish and suffering. Because unlike the character in game, we don't automatically know when our life depends on putting on a gas mask. And when this man consumes cheese. It's enough to make Jesus Christ himself say, okay, there's only so much suffering I can take. I know that's right. Yeah, being crucified is one thing, but being around Barack after he eats cheese without proper protective equipment, I'm pretty sure that violates the Geneva Conventions, OSHA regulations. And I know it violates basic common sense. Don't I know it? You know, I haven't even been talking about the game much because I practice so much for this speed run that it's just second nature to me. That's pretty impressive because this puzzle looks really complicated. You know it looks worse than it is. By this point in the game, you kind of have a pretty good idea of how to approach these puzzles. I'm still impressed though because you called me last night saying that you couldn't figure out how to get your toast out of the toaster. Well, how was I supposed to know that you pull on it? Bread is for eating, not pulling on. Right, but knowing what you know now, you see how the complexity of this puzzle is way higher than taking bread out of a toaster? No, I do not. And we love you for that, Joe. I'll tell you guys what, though. This is kind of the easy part. What I'm nervous about is the final boss fight with Catnap. Are you nervous that Barack will do another offensive impression and then ask to borrow your lotion? Well, honestly, that's always a point of concern. But I died so many times fighting Catnap on my first playthrough, and we've only got one shot to get this right. Mmm, that does sound stressful. Joe, do you have any advice to the people at home who might want to improve at Poppy Playtime so they can do their own speed run? Why, yes, I do, Donald. I'd recommend that people simply get good. I wouldn't usually feel comfortable saying that because it's kind of rude, but I know that we have the smartest audience on all of the internet. And we would never directly pander to them. No, they're simply too attractive for that to work. But oh my God, I can't pull this battery down onto the ground. Have you tried getting good? That's some good advice that sounds like it came from a really handsome man who loves butterscotch candy. I should definitely send him tasteful pictures of myself. What? Was that Lil John? Now I just gotta roughly shove it on in there. Just imagine you're on a date with Barack. See, that's a call back to our first part of the playthrough. Well played, Donald. Now, I just need to calculate the trajectory of these light photons. Okay. Divide by the square root and convert degrees into radians with the unit circle. All right, then what? Multiply by the complex derivative of the circumference and iterate procedurally using the formula. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Whoa, did you really just do all that? No, what are you crazy? I don't know math. I just memorized the puzzle. It's the gaslighting for me. All right, now we just gotta come through here, drop down, flip it, and reverse it. We need some batteries, and honestly, you'd think we could just order some on Amazon Prime or something. Oh, here's one. Let me grab this, and then we should be good to go. All right, nice. Oh my God, it's catnap. Jesus Christ, that scared me so bad. Joe, did you know that was gonna happen? Ha, 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 I did know. But I wanted the viewers to enjoy your real reaction. And honestly, I enjoyed it too. You cruel, cruel man. When others feel fear, I feel like God. Uh, okay. Here's finally a chance for me to relax in the speed run because there's nothing for me to do. 
that gives me another chance to chug as much G fuel as I possibly can. Where exactly is this taking place? I think this is outside the factory. Whoa, and now we're just lost in catnaps gas. It looks cherry scented. This place could really use a renovation. Or maybe it's a very modern style of design where they're intentionally going for a falling apart, blood soaked look. Ooh, kind of an open floor plan, post-apocalyptic townhome. Perfect for a family with two kids and a dog that they're looking to conduct evil experiments on. We could start our own show called Haunted House Hunters and pitch it to HGTV. As someone who always succeeds in business, that's a great idea. Oh, look, guys, it's the orphanage. So sad the kids were too poor to have any discernible color. I think that's just because they're memories. Mm, I think it's because they're poor. So did these critters and creatures used to be regular kids? Honestly, I've played all three of these games and I couldn't tell you. Yeah, we should do some video where we react to the lore of Poppy Playtime or something. Man, this school looks disgusting. It looked pretty nice to me, but then again, I grew up on the mean streets and studied at the School of Hard Knocks. Again, we go through the deadly gas. POV, you're stuck in the car with Barack. Wait, Donald, in what universe did you grow up on the quote, mean streets? Well, people are mean to me when I walk down the street. I guess that counts for something. Hey, look, it's Joe lost in the McDonald's play area. Only this time, I don't have to crawl up there and lure him out with a breadcrumb trail of butterscotch candies. Joke's on you, I wasn't even lost. I just wanted a bunch of butterscotch candies. Joe, you were so scared, you literally peed your pants. Don't hate the player, hate the game, Barack. And is the game pee your pants while you're president of the United States in a play area meant for children? It is when I want candy. You have to respect a man willing to do anything to get what he wants, Barack. If I have a sweet tooth and a full bladder, y'all finna go swimming. Joe, I'd really prefer if you didn't say finna. Oh, my bad. Thanks for communicating that. Oh, my God. If Huggy Wuggy does some kind of jump scare here, I'm going to scream. Ugh. The anticipation is worse than the jump scare. You guys can relax. I don't think there's actually a jump scare here. And is that the truth, or are you just wanting to get my guard down again? No, no, don't worry. What's with all the screaming? Maybe someone just accidentally saw Joe getting out of the shower. That does sound horrifying. When Joe gets out of the shower, he looks like a jar of spoiled, wrinkly mayonnaise brought to life by a warlock or something. Delicious. How would you know that, though? Uh, hey, would you look at that? Our character is waking up. Oh, no, the phone is going off. I hope it isn't that kid. Oh, man, me too. <laughs> Catnap is going to come for you. I think someone likes you. Good Lord, Donald. This channel is supposed to be classier than that. What I didn't mean anything by it, I just meant his passion for you is going to reach a peak where he just can't hold back anymore. And OK, moving on. Now we take this cable under here, and then we also need to grab the one from the elevator. But first we have to bravely endure suffering that no one should ever have to by handling an onslaught of brat speak. So squeaky, just put me out of my misery. I'll take you to the woods and tell you to picture the rabbits. And then bang, darkness, peace, no brat speak. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the other power cable from the fuse box thing. Joe alternative idea. Let's use the fuse box to electrocute ourselves so that we can't hear that kid if he calls us again. Oh, but we're so close, guys. Just hang in there. I hereby call upon the great strength of my ancestors to see me through these trying times. I use bardic inspiration on you to give you an advantage on the Constitution check. Joe, that's Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, all right. Sorry, I've just been watching some people play it online and it's kind of filling my mind. Careful, Joe. You only have so much room in there, and you need every brain cell you have left to crush this speed run. You're right. I need all five of these bad boys. Stay focused, Joey. Oh, God, the brat is calling us again. He gave us this big battery, and I don't know if I should use it to power the generator or just hit myself in the head so I don't have to hear his squeaky voice. That's a tough call, but we've almost made it through the game, so I just try to be strong. Stay on that grind set, Joe. Stay on that grind set. All right, boys, here we are with the thick boy battery to get that generator powered up so we can take the red gas and send it away. Wait, and then you'll have beat the entire game? Sheesh. Just as a heads up, Barack, I don't think people say sheesh anymore. I say sheesh and I won't be shamed for it. I appreciate the bold stance. Honestly, maybe you'll bring it back. Hey, that'd be groovy, daddy -o. Okay, never mind. I don't think it's coming back. All right, now I just have to shove this extra big one in the hole and we should be good to go. 
date with Barack Simulator be like? It's catnap. Oh my God. Uh, right. I think we just have to take this elevator on the left. Fool, you made it. I'm just hoping we survive all this gas. Well, no one has been killed by Barack's gas, so we'll probably be okay. Also, not to body shame or anything, but I think catnap might be underweight. He definitely seems to be struggling with his body image or some serious medical issues. Ultimately, it's not my place to comment on, but it is pretty concerning. I agree. I hope he's able to get the support he needs to overcome this difficult time. People always ask, where is catnap? But no one ever asked, how is catnap? I think that's a really valid point, Donald. I think you're both insane, but in a kind of endearing way. There's nothing insane about supporting one another, Barack. Right, but this is a, you know what, never mind. Shame on you, Barack. Oh my God. What is this part here, Joe? I'm seeing a bunch of power puzzle stuff, but also a lot of computers. This is where Hillary checks her emails. I think people have kind of forgotten about that, Donald. Very sad. But to answer your question, this is the final boss fight, and good God, I failed it so many times on my first playthrough. I remember watching Joe do this part, and the jump scares are pretty intense. Yeah, Barack kept trying to hold on to my arm because he was scared. What? You were trying to hold on to my arm? That's not how I remember it. Boys behave. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, we don't want to throw you off during the most important part of the speed run. Joe, you got that crazy look in your eye and your hands are trembling. That means he's thinking. Are you feeling the pressure, Joe? Good God, I could use a candy cigarette. I'm so stressed out. Even one death will totally ruin this entire speed run. Just stay calm, Joe. Here, use one of these butterscotch patches. What are those? You know those nicotine patches that people use when they're trying to quit smoking? Yeah, I've seen those. Well, I got Joe some of them to try and kick his butterscotch habit. Yeah, but now I've made peace with eating the butterscotch candies. And now I just use them both at the same time to double the buzz. Peekaboo, I think he's above you. Don't worry, I'm on it. I'm gonna close this on the quick quick. All right now, were you saying you wear the butterscotch patch while you eat the candy to double the buzz? Yeah, definitely, you gotta try it. I don't think that's how those are supposed to be used. If it's wrong, then why does it feel so right? Sounds like every date with Barack. All right, are you two gonna do that joke every video we do together? Nah, I'll just try to keep it in poppy playtime. It's so hard to stop doing, it's practically impossible. Speaking of hard and impossible to stop doing. Barack. All right, just relax, you two. So what exactly is going on in this puzzle, Joe? Catnap is trying to sneak up on us. He wants to eat us because, well, just look at us. We're total snacks. Honey, I'm a three-course meal. But to answer your question, there are batteries all around the room that the computer needs, but the batteries also power the steam to keep away catnap. So as you put more batteries in the computer, there are more places you have to fight off catnap from. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Honestly, even though I can speed run, it the puzzle only kind of makes sense to me too. So it's pretty much a vibe-based approach for you. Exactly. And my vibes are in fact based. Okay, that's good to know. I even conducted a vibe check before we started the speed run to make sure. What do you mean you conducted a vibe check? Well, sometimes I just look in the mirror and go, vibe check. And as long as it still mostly looks like I'm alive, then I know I'm good to face any challenge that might come my way. Hey, that's actually how I figure out if I'm ready to take on a challenge too. I review my past professional experience. Think about how much time and energy I have and try to educate myself on what the challenge ahead might really mean. Tell me you can't pass a vibe check without telling me. Ha <laughs> ha, bro, you just got your tea leaves red. Joe Biden has used his psychic powers and the spirits are telling me your vibes are off, Barack. Well, there's more to life than vibes, Joe. It's about hard work, research, and dedication. Bro is hitting that copium hard. Yeah, save some copium for the rest of us, Barack. I will say though, even though the vibes are off, it's cool that you use books and whatever. I gotta power up. Oh my God, there he is. Merc him, Joey. Split his wig. Remember your New Year's resolution. Damn bro's sober, but he's still got absolutely lit. He's so lit, he's going full bingo mode. Going bingo on him for real, for real. Whoa, is that the prototype's hand? It is. Catnap is like, save me, Robo Daddy. Damn, he's gonna save Catnap, and we were so close to killing him. Oh man, Catnap is lucky. Wait, what's he doing? Catnap seen here opening wide for Robo Daddy. Oh, Donald, don't call the prototype Robo Daddy. Did he just save Catnap or kill Catnap? I mean, it can't be good for you to get stabbed through the head like that. Yeah, I'm no doctor, but you're probably right. All right, now let's do what I do anytime a child that isn't Ivanka tries to talk to me. 
and get the hell out of here. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so now it's time to power up that generator with the big, thick boy battery, right? That's right, Donald. Hurry loading screen. We're speed running. Yeah, after this, I'm getting some NASA computer for all the speed runs, which reminds me. Donald, can I borrow $10,000 for a computer? Uh, well, you know, patience is a virtue, and loading screens help to develop that. Sigh. Maybe if I do my chores, you'll reconsider. But first, let's grab that thick ums, chonky, totally caked up battery. Hell yeah. Then we can start up the generator and take the evil gas out of here. Let's go. If there's one thing I learned watching this playthrough, it's to always keep a ton of spare batteries on you. It just might save your life. I think that was supposed to be the moral message of the game. All right, so we powered on and activated the generator. Now what happens? Now we awkwardly stand here for a while until the door opens and we can talk to Poppy. See Poppy. Oh man, don't do that. Do what? I'm just excited to see Poppy. Oh, the gaslighting is on another level. Any second now, the power should cut out and we should be good to move. We're just moving with such game-breaking speed. We made it. Now don't hold out on us, Poppy. Give me that lore reveal. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. This is more praise than I've received in my entire presidency. Yeah, she said she's proud of us more in the past 30 seconds than my dad did in 30 years. Oh, wow, that sounds difficult. It's okay. It taught me that the most important person to make proud is yourself. Wow. She said we were going to find out what happened to the co-workers. Are they okay? By okay, do you mean murdered? If so, then yeah, they were gruesomely okay. Oh, no. In fact, the co-workers were so savagely okay. They let out blood-curdling screams that would turn a child's hair gray. Jesus, Joe. Remind me, we need to talk about what OK means. OK. Oh, God, they're not going to make us sit through a Charlie Chaplin film, are they? What? No. This is footage of what happened when everything went wrong. So it's footage of your inauguration? Savage. Kidding. Oh, wow, you can see one of our co-workers running away in the bottom right of the screen. I bet if we zoomed out, we'd see Joe slowly moving in to give them unrequested back massages. Creepy or not, Joe gives a great massage. That he does Donald. I see these co-workers are reenacting what happens every time Joe tries to go down a flight of stairs. What are they wearing? It looks like some furry costume. Barack, it definitely isn't that. Look, it's Kissy Missy. She's making her escape because she's a total slang girl boss. As one does, as one does. Go off, queen. Damn, this place is messed up. The property values for this place had to have taken a real hit during this. Also, I think a bunch of innocent people were eaten alive by monsters. And evil experiments were done on children. A lot of equal tragedies, folks. Very sad. There's no way you're going to sell this place for market value or even be able to rent it out at a reasonable price. Oh, look, it's the flower from chapter one. The one you go through after murking Huggy Wuggy. I remember it well. We dropped that box on him, and just like Godzilla, he died after being lightly bumped. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was, honestly. Hey, look a pet. Joe, a cockroach does not count as a pet. But they're the only pet I can keep alive. What about your dog? Oh, that's pretty much a weekend at Bernie's situation. Guys, let us know down in the comments if anyone knows what the hell Joe's talking about. So right now, Poppy is just telling us that our co-workers did anything they could to survive, but it was no use. Reminds me of every date with Barack. Wow, that's a pretty dark one. I just know the video is almost over and I want to fit as many in as I can. Trying to fit as many in as you can? Sounds, Sounds like, like every, every date, date with, with Barack. Barack. High five. Booyah. On our worst behavior. Come get it. We're getting a pretty depressing speech from Poppy in game, but I'm having a great time with these Barack date jokes. Full of depressing speeches, but somehow still a good time. Sounds like every date with Barack. See, we put in a sweet one for you. I'm so grateful. That makes sense. You're welcome. Guys, look. Kissy Missy's back. Wait, are we about to kill Prototype? Well, we're supposed to go down there in order to learn the truth. Wait, we're required to go down before we can hear the truth? Sounds, Sounds like, like every, every date, date with, with Barack. Barack. Okay, well, I for one am excited to learn the actual truth. The truth is, George Bush did it. No, no, that's not it at all. Mm, that's what I saw on a YouTube video. Wait, you saw it on www.youtube.com? Yes. 
well, then it must be true. George Bush must be brought to justice for what he did to Poppy Playtime. Hey, Siri, set a reminder for me to grab my torch and pitchfork at 2 p.m. Oh, my God, she's lowering us down. We did it, Joe. Uh, I don't really know what to say here. That's fine. It's a moment of narrative tension. Just let it breathe. Guys, I think there's something up there attacking Kissy Missy. Bring us back up. We'll save you, Kissy Missy. Don't die. You were the hot one. Not counting Mommy Long Legs, of course, because she died. Oh my God, this is so stressful. And roll credits. Oh my God, what happened to Kissy Missy? I don't know, guys. We'll have to stay tuned for chapter four. What? That cliffhanger is brutal. All right, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. We love you. Oh, and nice job with the speed run, Joe.